a couple of gee whiz facts. Okay. Um, you know, if you go to a, I think particularly a Catholic church, possibly others, um, you're liable to see a crucifix of a bloody man on the cross. Um, do you know when that first started to happen? Sixth century BC, AD. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? It was something that the Roman Catholic Church like developed and devised. Okay, here's another. This one's a mind blower. So, do you know when the concept of original sin was introduced to the world? I'll take three guesses. Um, third century AD. Is that shocking to you? It's shocking to me. And yet, the Christian church has told the story that Jesus, what, died on the cross to save us from original sin. But the notion of original sin wasn't even in the world to the third century AD. That is not what he was teaching. Couldn't have been. And we've got thinking minds. And we can know, right? We don't have to be subject to things that people say that we don't understand, but just kind of accept. No, he was teaching something very different. Um, I believe these things are important for each and every one of us in our spiritual life. And I also believe we are at a critical juncture as a culture yeah. around the factors of superstition. If we have a populace who's bought into all this unknowingly, all this tendency to believe in things that you can't understand, and just because somebody told you, does that leave us ripe for being taken over by conspiracy theories of all kinds? Devils out there of all kinds? Ignorance? And then ignorance just propound, propounded, I think that's the word, propagated, that we buy into of all kinds. Where are the people who know? We have the opportunity to know. And you, you shall know the truth without limitation. Without limitation. And the truth shall make you free. The truth of God the truth of yourself, the truth of your neighbor, the truth of the world in which you live. We're not meant to live in a world that's characterized by our conspiracy theories or by our superstition or belief in evil. We're supposed to live in a world that we love and know. And in that love and in that knowledge, there is there are the powers that of consciousness that are, that are at work. There's the ordering power of love that's moving through consciousness that has the, the possibility of holding us together as a people around the world. Yeah. Until all tyrants perish, yeah. who are the tyrants? Ignorance and superstition. And then those things get at work through people. And sadly, there are people who somehow deliberately propagate such things. But at the root of it all, the enemy of a creative human experience is a person's own ignorance and a person's own superstition. And the remedy, the spiritual medicine, we know, right? Which is the point. We know the spiritual medicine. It's the fulfillment of love. We're not supposed to love in vain. We're not supposed to have some kind of unrequited love for a distant God. And we are here to know. And true love, the reality of true love fulfilled, brings us into knowing. 
and it brings us into knowing. 